Samba Football came to South Liverpool as Brazil took on Bangladesh at the Jericho Lane Sports Hub, although Neymar and co were nowhere to be seen. Instead, the teams were made up of Liverpool residents, representing their different national backgrounds in the World in One City World Cup 2022. The tournament takes place throughout June and aims to bring people from different backgrounds together as they represent their different communities. The third day of action saw Group C kick off as last year's semi-finalist Jamaica faced Libya. Jamaica got off to a quick start and raced into an early lead. However, Libya made life difficult for them and controversial penalties either side of half-time saw the underdogs take the lead. Despite the setback, Jamaica rescued a point from a thrilling encounter thanks to a late equaliser from man of the match Kane Drummond. After a quick turnaround, the remaining Group C teams, Brazil and Bangladesh, took part in a hotly contested clash. Despite some early samba flair, the game quickly became a tight physical affair, with both sides becoming frustrated and chances hard to come by. Brazil thought they had won the game late on, but were denied by a controversial offside flag. The agony quickly turned to ecstasy, when Junior Regato headed in the winner with three minutes remaining to put Brazil top of Group C. The quality and fight shown by all the teams was no surprise to Sam Goodall Walker, who helped organise the event. Everyone knew this year that the standards were going to be high and that the teams were all going to be intense and prepared. So, yeah, really impressed, but expected, to be honest. Despite the competition on the pitch, the emphasis is on celebrating diversity and togetherness. You know, it's about coming to, to, to celebrate the world in one city. You know, we've got all these different communities within our city. So it's really important that we give them the opportunity to celebrate their culture with us. And, and I, like, I, didn't, I wasn't aware there was that many Congolese, Guinea-Bissau. It's good to see them. It gives them a platform that they don't usually have in any other, in any other sort of forum. The celebrations and excitement were only increase as the tournament continues.